Sarah. I'm Alfred. And we're playing Dishonored. Welcome back. Um, so it's been a little between drinks for us. Uh, do you even remember what we're doing? I... Uh, I don't. I remember the brothel, but not much else. <laughs> I'm sure. We are currently abducting uh, Sokolov, who is the royal physician. Yeah, there you go. You've been asked to abduct Anton Sokolov, physician and head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Because recall that philosophy is just what they called science in the olden days. Your allies want to obtain from Sokolov the name of Lord Regent's mistress, a mysterious ally and one of his most powerful noble supporters. Sokolov lives in a big-ass apartment on top of Caldwin's Bridge. Oh, my dear, do we need to full screen this? No. Okay, just making sure. The uh, recording size is maxed out. I can oh. actually show you if you like. Yeah, sure. See? So it fills up the entire window. So oh, okay. the mouse actually tracks to where it is on the screen, so you can see that it's not linked up. Oh, okay, good. I just wanted to make sure. I wanted to make sure that we had a good recording. And hey, that's us peeking behind the... Uh, I guess I can't say peeking behind the kimono, because that might be a little weird. <laughs> but that's peeking behind the uh, stage curtain there. That reminds me of that awesome scene from uh, Mr. Sunshine, where the woman lifts up her kimono, and like, I think she has a knife in there. Or she uses as distraction and like, I don't know. She was really cool. Well, it sounds great. It's a, it's a good. It's a good show. So yeah, we are stealing a man this time. Uh, yep, there we go. That was pure platinum. A whole man? How are we gonna get him through the door? You can see that. Well, I'm a big burly fella. So you can see how having blink can really change how you move around the world. And upgrading it early on is something I almost always do in is, my is playthroughs. Is there game audio? Uh, yeah, there is. It's just very quiet. Oh, is that okay? Yeah. Okay, should be fine. It's so, uh, I'm just a little, because for us, the first episode just came out, meaning it's been like a month since we recorded. Yeah, it's it was so nice to see the first episode and really not be able to hear each other, but, you know, it just... It's, it's nice to see... We can kind of hear each it's other. It's nice to see, uh, like, the project we did together come out. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, I got caught. I'm being shot at now. Ooh. How about we do... Fucking piranhas. Here, take me. Take me, you stupid fucking fish. Except the emissary of rat. Ah, it's like we never left. Yeah. Are I'm okay still being chewed on. Are you okay with my arm being here? Yeah. All right, cool. It helps me be a little closer to the mic. A sure. Little, a little closer to you. Fuck. 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 <laughs> I can't help but feel I did this already, but also this is like the lamest mission. Like, it's a lame mission, but it gives you Sokolov, which is kind of neat. Oh, come on. Is this the intended way to play? There isn't one. Oh. Huh. I'm being nibbled. I'm being nibbled. Okay, okay, that's fine. I thought that was an even bigger spitting piranha. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, no, that's not right. Let me turn the... Why? Oh, it's because of what Dylan did with this fucking controller. What happened? Yeah, you should be able to... You, Sarah, sitting next to me, should be able to hear now. Oh, wonderful. Oh, good, we have the sound back. Yeah, something that Dylan did to my fucking PS4 controller meant that I actually... Uh, Dylan is her brother and our new roommate. And he spent a couple of weeks ruining everything in the house. <laughs> but at least he does the dishes. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> that might be worth checking out. How do I hurt something? There we go. We should have lowered the difficulty on. on this game. I'll go easy. Nah. It's pretty hard. Nah, I like the challenge. I am being adequately challenged. Present yourself. Don't make me find you. Whoops. Oh shit. Wait, no, that guy was alive. 
Oh, that guy was alive, guys. Fellas. Fellas. I meant to do that out the window. Okay, thank you, rats. Excuse me, rats. Hmm. I can't blink through these, can I? They run out of rats. You know, there's an old saying about that. And what is it? When there's no more room in hell, the rats will walk the earth. Is that what they say? No. What do they say? When there's no more room in hell. Stop shooting me. I'm not doing a good job of getting uh, not noticed here. Whoops. Rats, help me get across this thing. Man, ever accidentally rat? I hate when that happens. Maybe I can... Well, here, let's do one of these, shall we? Oh my god, I need to rotate my saves more. All right. Oh, oh, oh! Fuck. For just a second, you were a hamster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, there we go. You did it. Good job. Only took me two tries. Hey, fellas. Oh, that's gonna come down. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that was really stupid. So, what was your intention? <gasps> Thank you, pinwheel. Fuck's sake. God damn it. Down here in Ratfuck Avenue. Oh boy. One more time. It should be that, right? Right? Okay, so why are you trying to get over there? Because I can't blink through the what happens if I load this, actually? I can't blink through the light. Is there another way to get the light off? I can try to get around it, but this is easier. Oh. Take out his legs. You know, guys, if you want me to shoot you, I will. Yeah, let's just go for the evil route. God damn it, they got me doing it. Okay, can I? God damn it. Oh, there's one. Okay. Now that I'm actually doing it, I can see why they, they fucked it up. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just... Damn. Oh, you can't possess him yet? Was that what you were trying to do? Yeah. Well, the rats spawned behind me, so that's great. Oh, here we go. Fucking god damn it. I'm frustrated and I'm not even playing. Why is this fucking cogwheel here? What does it do? Okay, now. Spend time. Drink the drink. Can I try? Mm, I have to do it for honor. Okay. Okay. And justice and glory. Oh, they got distracted. I could be a little more time to play. Wait, here we go, here we go. There we nice. go. Nice. Use my rat powers. Excuse me, gentlemen. Do you see it's, it kept saying possession blocked while I was, uh, while the fucking cogwheel was in front of me? All right. Now let's fucking save that game. That was that was pretty good. It, it took a few tries, but you did it. Yeah. Oh my god, I just realized they can see the recording dates. Shit. It was look, it was literally a month ago when we recorded this, see? 9 10, 10 11. It's fine, it explains the rust. It does explain the rust. Cold Wind Bridge. See, so yeah, that's Sokolov. North Side Bridgeway. Hello. Little sirs. They're hopping like kangaroos. A 
like I don't know what. So this was um so this game came out when Assassin's Creed ruled the fucking video game world. Rats are eating our babies. Fucking cursive with chalk. So extra, you know? Fuck. Well they're fantasy Brits, so. Yeah. So if I possess a rat, I imagine that all these rats will stop attacking me. I'm your friend now, see? I wish you could play the entire game like this. <laughs> Actually, today. This is gonna, well, I guess the video's already been dated, but Mitten Squad just uploaded a video of him playing Skyrim as a skeever. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I haven't even been using this. You can hear them in the distance talking about pigs for experiments. I wonder what I wonder what they're talking about. This weird villainous, you know, creepy Russian scientist. The <laughs> the Lord Regent is a shriveled prick and a liar and send us food not bullets. All right. There, eat my friends. Ooh. Eat, chew. Devour. There's a, oh, there's rats on him. Hell yeah. Monch. All right. So unfortunately, I can't kill Sokolov. See a bad guy? Oh yeah. Wonder if I can remote summon rats. Yes. Yes! Chew, my little friends. If only you could get the rats to like do your dirty work for you, so you can get them to get Sokolov, and then he arrives in your room on the back of like 40 rats. Yeah. You have your feet up, you're in a sandwich. Oh, they saw me. So, you have chosen rats. What, they saw you? Obvious man coming around to steal their scientists? Uh oh, oh shit, oh shit. This isn't good. See that guy? He's got an anti magic field, so I can't use my rat spells. What? Bullets coming in me? Yeah. Why am I stuck here? <laughs> you know, I was kind of asking for that. Why didn't you shoot the guy who was uh, taking away the magic? You have to get behind him because the big thing on his chest blocks bullets. Oh, okay. Because it's all bi uh, a big-ass fucking heavy piece of metal. Well, let's try this way. All right. You, Grayson, you have Grayson is here. Got that. No, 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 sir. Not, not thinking. Sokolov is testing elixir. Wrong spell. Okay. Obviously, it's because the ones already sick with plague don't live long enough to provide Sokolov with any useful information. It's just a shame, it's all. Like that woman. Hey, what's going on there? Ah, oh, boy. Someone get over here! Quick draw. She's really chill about this whole thing. Sorry. Yeet. Okay, we're good. We're good. I don't know who you are, why you did this for me, but listen. Nearby, there's a partially collapsed building. Up on what used to be the third floor, you'll see a painting. I used to work there. Behind the painting, there's a safe, and the code is 294. Yeah. So I just saved these people, and so that lady helped me out. Nice. Yep, still technically a good character. You're great. 
spray. I really do. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. All right. I do really like Corvo as a heroic character, just being fucking creepy about it. Hell yeah. Gold bricks. Ooh. Snack for later. <laughs> Why do you say things like this? <laughs> Where do these things come from your head? Is this the human condition known as madness? More whale oil. Wow, this is a totally different area. Well, like, isn't actual gold, like, really, like, it's soft? Yes. Yeah. People eat gold all the time. No, they don't. Yeah. Rich people. Oh, you mean, like, putting gold leaf on food? Yeah. Okay, then I guess you are technically correct, as yeah. much as I hate to admit it. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, look at that. He's got a water mill down there. Get my lean on. Okay, so my distraction worked. I managed to pull them over there. And I can now peep through these windows like a creeper. <coughs> Same tight. Please don't sneeze into the mic. <sighs> I didn't. I covered my mouth. Okay. Thank you. Is this an elevator? It is. Damn. Or a lift for our international viewers. See, this is when dark vision would be really useful. Excuse me for just one moment. Hey everyone, sorry about that. I, Alfred, had a little coffin fit. And I didn't want to do it on the on camera, and I also had to fucking just stop. Oh yeah, check it out, racism. But I supplied him some water, so it's all right now. Yo, why has it got to be a fucking filthy foreigner? So you can see there that he's got a music box on his chest. And that plays mathcore music. Oh. It plays uh, mathematically pure sounds. I think the, you think the guys in the uh, you know in the employee lounge make fun of him? No, that's a that's a rank up. You get a raise when you uh, become a mu musician, uh, a music box player. Look at that guy having a cool music box on his chest. Mm. Shall we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? So the, the mask already protects their face, and I'm pretty sure that the big hunk of metal on their chest will protect them from gut shot. You know, it must still hurt just a little bit, though, right? Oh, yeah, but that isn't a game mechanic. Yeah. There's this uh, cool scene in Insect Collection. Suddenly, I'm reminded of Rule of Rose. Uh, you know what? Yeah, that's a good point. The monarch butterfly. Is it true that butterflies don't live very long? Butterflies only live for a couple of months. Okay, so they do live longer than I thought, because I think it's moths that certain types of moths only live for a couple of There's days. a specific moth that lives for like a week, yeah. Because it doesn't have a mouth? Or a digestive system, really. That's the main issue. Oh, that's pixels right there. They only exist to breed. Yeah, they exist to like... They don't have a digestive system, but I think they can eat. So they, they're here to like eat, fuck, and die. And that's their week. You know? One hell of a life. I've got to say, live in the fucking dream, right? And here, we'll put her down in this comfortable, easy chair. Oh. Look, she's fine. All part of the show. And I can't get that without breaking the glass. So. Will that alert people? Oh, yeah. The ears in this game are actually very well made. Look at her. She's just taking a, she's just taking a little break. Yeah. That's funny. They got a leaky pipe, so they just put a fucking eel tin down there. Yes, of course. Peak power, go. See, so yeah, this is a level where I really wish that I had dark vision. I, I really. Ooh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I really wish that, like, everyone whistled like this in real life when I'm trying to sneak around. So that way I know if they're coming. Yeah. Like, you know how many times I would have gotten away with sneaking sna snacks out of the kitchen at Grandma's house if she was just whistling when she came in and spotted me? Shoving peanut butter into my mouth like a raccoon. So I've hacked this door, so now it'll zap baddies instead of me. God, we started, we started recording this back in August. God damn. We're busy. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, and I can to power this, but now that I've hacked it, I don't actually want to. Yeah. God, yeah. Like, I'm really wishing I had dark vision, because then I would just be able to see dudes through walls. And, like, that's a super useful ability. Can you get it? So. Uh, that's a good question. Let me find the fucking pause. Right, yeah. Okay, powers. Dark vision. It's one rune and I have three. But I was definitely saving it for either upgraded rats. Oh, I can possess humans. I just didn't hold it down enough. Well then, get dark vision. Okay. You didn't want to save it for upgraded rats? Well... Look, we're doing a rat-only playthrough. We should, yeah, we should you're just right. We should, we should say this. We should stick to our rat roots. Stick to our rat-based guns. You know, I think we should really go back to our roots and just start putting rats on sticks again. <sighs> we're watching a uh, Rule of Rose, uh, a playthrough of the PS2 survival horror video game Rule of Rose. And as a game, that game fucking blows. But I'll be honest, that uh, game's story fucking slaps. Yeah, I mean, I always say that, you know, I, as far as mechanics go, you know, sure, I want good mechanics in my in my video game. But if you have the story and you have good characters, or at least fun characters, then I'm sold, you know? Yeah. And at least for a horror game, having a <coughs> shitty, shitty game mechanics, like, you know, Silent Hill, Rule of Rose, obviously what we're talking about, it, it kind of adds to the horror element. Yeah, because you'll, you'll have seen this by now, assuming you watch all my videos, and you should. But, um, like, I, I am one who has discussed that uh, Silent Hill has absolutely crappy fucking uh, gameplay. But that doesn't actually matter because the story is so solid. See, this is just, this pumps out an empty whale oil tank. Check this out. Whale oil processing. Out at sea, they secure the beasts with hooks, with lines cast from the main ship and from several smaller boats. Buoys keep the whale from diving deep. Once it's caught, a large hook is driven through the tail, mm -hmm. which is used to hoist the creature up through the chute. They moan and bellow for some time as the men get them onto the deck, then lift them onto the scaffolding overhead. The ship adjusts its prow and returns to port in Dunwall, where the crew works on the great creature, slicing off the fattiest parts while it still lives. That makes me sad. Well, it's meant to. And the, there's so much... um better types of meat than whale meat. But well, I guess they use it for oil and stuff. Yeah, here they need the oil. But um, I'll free you. I know there's still some people, I think it's some people in Japan still eat whale. No, I think uh, whale is outlawed in Japan. I know that it wasn't outlawed for the longest time, though, but I think it is finally. It is, but, you know, that kind of <laughs> doesn't really stop people. Oh, yeah, And it, it's, a, it's a tradition thing, and I know you're really not supposed to judge other cultures, you know, tradition. But that one, that one's... That one's hurtful, <laughs> so, you know. There's this, uh, there's this, please stop bumping with the, <laughs> bump at the table. Sorry. There's this really, uh, great conversation in Metal Gear where Kazuhiro Miller talks about how he really misses the taste of whale. Even though it's like, like, whale is the ultimate conflict meat, you know? Like, it's not good, it's just all around just really rough. Okay, I don't... How did you get past all the gods? Your tattoo is quite unusual. His face looks like someone it like just of pinched it. On yeah. Walls far from the city. Who sent or like in, in Dark Souls, when you move the cursor like yeah. all the way to when one you, side. When you fuck around with the Dark Souls face letters too much. One that I'm sure will please you more than anything Piero dreamed up. Who are you? What is it you want? Money? Elixir. Here's the black market elixir we believe to be coming from the distilleries. No doubt it's inferior to your or even Piero's remedy, but people are desperate, haven't been able to identify the ingredients, perhaps you have luck. Some men of the watch claim when pressed to have purchased and used the stuff from time to time since it's cheaper than either of the popular brand. None of them report illness complications. Will not protect from the plague as well, it doesn't seem to be harmless. So they know that uh, the, the potions don't actually protect you from the plague. Should be using disinfectant instead and injecting that. Everything in my power to give you is uh. yours. If you're just, let me go. I can see you are an intelligent man. 
So you understand there will be repercussions if you should harm me. So is, is he a bad guy? I am the royal He's technically a good guy. Terribly in the sense of, of this game. Stay but... back. Have you no heart? Please. I can tell his nose isn't big. That that's a running joke. I have nothing nothing against people who have all kinds of noses. Get out there, honey. Test subject 312. This character oh, is busy. She's busy being caught. Like an animal. Hey, well, now you're free. Man. Go run like a rat. So I'll just hide in a corner. And I'm like a rat. Holy bite. All right. So I'm going to head downstairs and I'm going to grab that thing. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot where it was. Oh, wait. Was it in here? What are you looking for? There was a little thing that I couldn't open without, uh... Yeah, here we go. Ah. Yeah! Money, 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 money. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, they can probably hear my big, fat fucking footsteps as I clang around loudly in my big-ass old Yeah, is boots. there a rune to give you less noisy shoes? <laughs> rune removes Corvo's tap shoes. <laughs> clackety, 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 clack. The clack, downside clack, is clack, it clack, makes clack. him a little more sad. Yeah. They so bring now... up his morale. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be an amazing mechanic. Ha -cha -cha -cha. Keep going before I break my arm. So yeah, now we just gotta... This is awkward. What was that? Oh fuck. <sighs> that didn't work out. I mean, so cool was probably fine. Yeah, he, he used Corvo's big ass as his, a cushion. His body, you know, it it was it was cushioned by me. All right, you're free. Sprint back downstairs. Oh god, oh god, there we go. Grab this, bonk. Okay. Now, I should probably case this joint and check out ahead of... Yeah, there we go. Sleep. Yeah, I don't think we're getting the good ending. I'll be honest here. It's okay. Yeah. Ooh, wait. Now that we're here... Yeah. Rat upgrades. We have maximum rats now. All right. Our job here is done. Yep. We can stop playing, but let's get a fun game over first. <laughs> nah, I'm going to finish the mission. Ah, makes sense. Look at how many rats it spawns. Wait, were you supposed to kill him? No. Oh. I wanted to give them a little taste of the meat. What is this thing they use? Is it like a beaker? <laughs> it's like a smaller, thinner version. You're talking about the uh, him, him examining the file yes. on the loading screen? Is this for? Next, they're going to make me stop pipetting by mouth. <laughs> That's a thing people used to do. I know. It's why Mary Curie's fucking dead. Hey, Sammy. Position himself. You made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Yeah. Plunked him in the boat. And we mean drop, not throw, Corvo. Hey, Sammy. And take off those damn tap shoes. Do you think I can get him in from like 20 feet away? <gasps> Overall chaos. Chaos high. is high. All right. Didn't kill anyone? No. I freed all the test subjects and I robbed the safe, though, so that's cool. Hey, all right. Um. So, yeah, that's the most boring mission. And Soklov's in the custody of Loyalists. Soklov is uh, through him, him may be possible to strike at the closest to the Lord Regent. How crap are the most brilliant man the Empire be? He must be swayed or coerced in telling what he knows. <laughs> oh, I love our serene boat boat nights. Uh, I love you, Sammy. for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. From what I hear, he's woken up worse places. 
as we all have at that. Have a look, I'm home. I brought you another man. Another one for the pile. Yeah. That big pile of men that Corvo's creating in the basement. Look. What? Well, they're gonna congeal, congeal down there. Yeah, it's gonna be like the end of Akira. Well done, Corvo. Well done. It's gonna be like the, the, the beginning of the thing. <laughs> it's gonna be like the midway point in Parasite Eve. Blech. It's gonna be like the end of End of Evangelion. We won't have to hide in shadows. The royal physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great Imagine nation. that he's sitting like cross-legged in the boat, listening the very attentively. Yeah. yeah. Like how you had thanks. to go to the carpet uh, if you wish to in, get kindergarten. in kindergarten no. to be read a story. Yeah. Koro is definitely crisscross applesauce. Yeah. Sleep sounds... I would like to wind down first and say goodnight to Emmy. Noom, 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 noom. See, I'm going to finish up here and then I'm going to head to the bed. Piero! Normally... I'm a natural philosopher, but today Shut up, you consider me a humble craftsman Do you think they, here to serve. Maybe they could have made his glasses just a bit bigger for him. No, he has to look like a rat, you know? Boot stealth! I knew we it! We can finally take off our tap shoes! Aww. <laughs> That's really funny. This is exactly what I needed. Oh, even further reduce. Take off the noise socks you have on underneath them. <laughs> take off, like... The little squeakers you have in there. Oh, the squeaky shoes. <laughs> great, 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 great. All right. Oh, man. I'm feeling good about our Corvo now. Our, our Corvo build. <laughs> like, um. Thank you, Piero. Because, <laughs> like, what? Now, now I've got quiet feet when I'm running. Well, there's a second. Yeah, check this out. Remarkably, each specimen I had the pleasure of studying aboard the voyage possessed some minor variants in physiology. On the second leg of the trip, east of Tivia, the crew hauled aboard a female some 42 in length. I don't know if that's inches or feet. I imagine she weighed 35 tons and the ship sat low, rocking side to side through the night with their thrashing. Oh, they're talking about a whale. Oh, oh right. It's his whale, but... Vivisection. A vivisection. It's like dissection, but while they're alive. Ah, okay. Oh, goodness. By candlelight... I took her apart, sketching and taking notes. Against her bellowing, I cut into the mass of tentacles around her mouth. Within, I found row upon row of teeth and a baleen running through the upper jaw. Through this broom-like structure, I assumed she filtered through from the water that was too small to be chewed. So whales in the world of Dishonored have not only baleen, like human, like earth whales, but they also have tentacles, like a beard around their mouth, to pull in food and normal teeth that chew. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's it's really interesting because um, and that's the one I already read. I really I really like just the the fucking weird thing of just like oh yeah it's a whale, you know based on how it flies uh, has a human face, you know that's just, that's what whales look like. I I love weird weird shit like that in world building. All right, let's say goodbye to Emily. Is I think it's, I think she's in that tower. It's a great place to raise children. You know what? It could be worse. Whale hooks right there. This this game's world building is honestly so well done. Like, I don't know if we're ever going to get another game like Dishonored. I think even Dishonored 2 might not be as good. Although I haven't played it, that's just what Robert told this game about uh, the whales getting revenge? <laughs> um, no, but that'd be great. Fuck. Come on, I want to say goodbye to my not real daughter. Okay, fine. Yeah, I did it. Be hey! As as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor dear. I just put a little it's whiskey okay on her gums. It's fine. Oh, you know. She seems happier when you're here. I gotta oh, get I me one of these. Things to do out there. A maid that just like whiskeys me up to get me to sleep. Please. We could get that. Well, no wonder she's having a hard time going to sleep. She's over the covers, and this bed is like a rock. Where is Corvo? So yeah, a lot of PTSD, uh, PTSD dreams you can see. Call the spheres. All right. 
Trials of Aptitude. Go ahead and pause this if you want. Money, cash, money. Yep. Yep. Uh, and let's listen to this. There's hardly a need to work on table etiquette. She knows it all, even if she chooses not to employ it. She'd rather oh hold a spoon by the wrong end and pretend it's a sword. Then suddenly she changes and she's all manners, asking for You're being nice and quiet for I your daughter. Her, but I have little to work with. No yeah. proper plates, and instead of a cloth napkin, I've only the bar rack. Ale mugs instead of teacups. I've asked for things befitting her, but they have their minds on other things. For now, Emily and I decided to make a pretend dinner using paper and little things she's found here and there. On the floor, I suppose. Not right for a princess, but it'll have to do. Do you want to have a tea party sometime? We've been, we've been meaning to have one for a little bit. We should definitely have one. So yeah, you can you can see that she's she's been setting up her dollies and uh, and the, the maid in, in a little tea party. See, so yeah, Calista's not even doing a bad job taking care of her. This is safe, right? And you can see that there's a little hideaway that goes to the window that leads to my back room, that leads to my bedroom. <gasps> Wait, he got a bed. Oh yeah, they put a mattress oh, on. Oh, he got a bed, wonderful. The matter of my brother has not been pleasant, so I don't wish to discuss it further. I must thank you. I heard you found some other means of neutralizing them without taking their lives. Ingenious. Wherever they are, even if they're miserable, they're alive, so someday I may see them again. And I got lots of money for that. So yeah, that's what I got for uh, not killing the Pendleton twins, remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember. The third brother uh, left me some cash money. So yeah, it's all looking up. Wow, a real mattress and shit. Time to rest. All right. There might be a cutscene that plays in the morning. Um, Hands of Loyalists, yada yada. Corvo, wake up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. Yeah, it's I Emily. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking a bath. Oh, she's so cute. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. I Callista's want that taking outfit. her bath? Mm. Oh yeah, it's cute. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Does she... You know what? Never mind. What? I think it's a spoiler. Well, go ahead and ask. Does she know that Corvo's her dad? Um, it's publicly a secret, so I don't actually know. Oh, okay. Although, she does know later. I think that she has... Oh, boy. Oh, we got some good stuff going on oh, next time. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I might go and watch an episode of my show and then actually just come, come right back, come right back and, okay. and recruit again. Um... Wow. Okay, so good episode. Good getting back in. I'm fucking waking up. I spent all last night drinking. Um, I've been Alfred. This has been Dishonored. And I'm Sarah, and we've had a really good time recording for you guys. Hell yeah. Back to the rats. Play that outro. Rats. Rats. We're the rats. Pray at night. Stock at night. We're the rats. <laughs> yeah. All right, bye. Bye. That rat that makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of troll we can get ourselves into.